So today we're going to paint the unicorn, yay. So if you're like, but I don't love unicorns, then make it as a present for somebody. It's almost Valentine's Day. What if this could be a present for someone? You're like, I don't love unicorns, but I know someone who does. So we can, we can do that. Okay, so we're gonna paint the, with our big fluffy paintbrush, this one, the big fluffiest one. Not the flat square one, she's for later, no, no. But this big fluffy one. And we're gonna do the whole uh, face and body of the unicorn while she, our paintbrush is still clean. Cause this is white with gray, right? So is the gray really necessary? No, but it's already white. Wait, get rid of this one too. It's already, hey, upside down. It's already white, so why would I paint it? The only reason I'm painting unicorn wet white is to get the paint, the unicorn face wet to add some gray so it will blur and disappear inside the wet white. What? That makes absolutely no sense. So let me show you. I'll show you on a, on a paper plate, right? And it's pure white, can't see nothing. So I'm gonna open my white paint. Oh, I had it upside down so it's all drippy. It just got slimed. Huh. So I get my white and let's see, and you can only see it because it will be shiny, right? But I get it wet with white, all wet with white, the whole paper plate, right? And I, I, I'm checking for shiny parts. Is it shiny the whole thing? Did I miss a spot? Shiny. Okay, now I'm gonna get a poke of gray. I'm just demonstrating, just for an idea. So we're gonna try to get gray to disappear. So I'm gonna get a little tiny poke with my finger, because this big paintbrush will pick up too much paint. Let's say I put it along her neck, put the gray. Well, I'm not gonna let it sit there and just look like gray uh, line. I'm actually gonna blend it in and make baby gray, but then I go one row lower, one row lower, run low, until I run out of paint. I'm trying to run out of gray. I don't go back up and get more. I'm trying to make it disappear, make the white paint eat it all up. Okay, so watch me, I go, okay, I make it gray, smoosh mash, and then I go, now it's in my paintbrush, baby gray. Now I go a row lower, 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 disappearing, disappearing, disappearing. White ate up all my gray. Well, how many color values does it take to make 3D paint? Three, dark, medium, light. Well, where is it darkest? Right there. Where is it mediumest? Right there where it started to run out. Where is it lightest when it ran out completely? And all paint darkens when it dries. So if you get too much gray, and, and we're all done, and you're like, oh my gosh, my gray came out way too dark. Get a little bit of clean white and put it on top of the gray. She'll calm down. So no worries, okay? Some people want lots of gray. It's way too dark. After, when we're done, you can tell it to calm down, right? I'll pick that. Okay, so that's what we're going to try to do is make a fade. But first we have to do, we'll do the neck first. So it's like, behind her face and her neck. So we need to outline with our paintbrush. So, and this is gonna be, why, let's see if I can turn off this light. Let's see if it's not as bright. It's my beauty light, so it doesn't look fabulous. But it's too bright, too reflective, right? Because I do not want, I, if you can't see white on white, then you're gonna see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna get my big paintbrush. You have your white open. Get your white close to you. Mine was too far away. White, and I'm just gonna stab it like I'm mad. Oh, look how much paint I got. I stabbed my white paint with my big paintbrush. Now you do it. Okay, now I have to outline the neck. Did you stab it? No going forward unless you already did it. You do it, Isaiah. Now I'm gonna get my white paint and I would like to outline it, 
but I'm gonna smash my paintbrush and then my paintbrush sneaks up and touches the pencil. So I'm inside her neck and I go, smash! And then I sneak up, because I'm inside her neck and I sneak up, up, up. Oh, one hair of the paintbrush is touching the pencil and then I push. That, oh, I ran out of paint already, it got dry. So then I stab my white and I land in her neck, smash. And then once my paintbrush opens, I can sneak up and see the one hair. And I don't scribble. That's for crayons and pencils and color pencils. Paint is like peanut butter. You smash it on. Now you do it. And do we, lift, we do not lift up our paintbrush. And we do not use water. So if you have any water nearby, please put it away. We will wash ourselves at the end. Water just spills and makes a mess. We don't need any water. Okay, did you make that outline on her neck? So I just went, now I can, now that it's wet, I can smooth it. Wee! Right? Did I scribble? No. Who thinks their easel is moving? You could put something heavy inside the triangle and keep her from moving. Okay, now I would like to get the rest of her neck. So from her chin down. What? A tooth came out. Well, that's an exciting event. Okay, now I'm gonna get more white poke. And why do I get so much paint? Because I'm going to push my paint like a glob of peanut butter or frosting. And I'm gonna land in her neck. Watch me, in her neck, smash! And my paintbrush opens. Now I can sneak up and let one hair touch the pencil, whoosh. Not her whole face, we're just gonna do her neck. And look at that, it's sopping wet and it's super thick and I don't even care. So I did the back of her neck, that arch, and I did the front of her neck. But what about all, to uh, fall off the page on the bottom? Whoop. And now, what about her side of her face? Look at how my face is curved right here because of my jaw. Well, that's true for my horsey, right? So I, or my unicorn. So I stab my white paint. So where is her jaw? Look at how this little curve right here. See this is the bottom of her jaw? It actually curves backwards C or a big letter B, right? Oh, it's like a, a letter B. It's just a, uh, oh, cause it's her jaw coming back around. So I just go, oh, woo, to her ear, back to her jaw, to her ear and back to her jaw. Can you do that? Am I getting a good reflection? White on white is just terrible. Can't see nothing. Let me put a little speck of gray in mine. Let me see. Okay, there. Now you can see it because I put gray in mine. But now mine's going to be way more gray than yours. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to paint the whole inside of this. I don't know. What is this now? This weird shape it needs to be sopping white with wet. Wet white. So I stab my white and get a huge amount. And now I just go up, down, up, down, get her whole neck all wet with white because it's a different color white. It's not the same white as the background. I need to get repaint the whole, whole neck and get it slippery. And I can't tell that I painted the whole thing because it's white on white. So I, I look for shininess to make sure there's no dry parts. Oh, there's one. Get it, get it, get it. All right. Shine, shiny. A little bit. I'm trying to get it to shine on your side so you can see me be shiny. Her whole neck's wet. And then no dry spots. So look. Oh, at the bottom. Don't be afraid to get your, your cardboard easel wet. 
right? Just go off the page on the bottom. Okay. So I is a uh, gauge. Is the whole neck wet with white paint? Okay. Because I can't see yours. Okay, now who's ready to decorate it? What do we need to help it look 3D? Shadow, right? Gray is our shadow. And there's gray along her mane. But right down the middle, like a parenthesis, it's just like a curved muscle. It's a little bit gray. They have this gigantic muscle in their neck. I have, You can't see mine, but if I get older, you'll be able to see it. It'll wrinkle. But it's right here, right? It's right there. So let's put some gray. But let's do it with our finger. This humongous paintbrush will pick up a lot of gray. I don't want that much. Just a finger amount. So I get my gray. I just put my finger in it. Don't lick it. It tastes terrible. It won't kill you, but it's disgusting. So I get the gray. Oh, it's like a boogie, a boogie of gray. And where am I going to put it? Along the top of her neck. Ew, get off my finger, you disgusting schmear. And I put it on the white because I'm going to make baby gray. So put it on the white, on the white. We're going to change color. We're going to make a new color. So remember when I showed you on the plate? Look at as my plate dries, my gray gets darker. Nice. Be because the white paint actually dries clear like Elmer's glue and the darkness shows up. Okay, now who's ready to decorate? Now I switch back to my fluffy paintbrush. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make this any bigger. I just want to crush it into my paintbrush and into my white paint and make baby gray. So you guys ready? That's all. No more gray. And it's not black. It's gray. Okay? So stop putting more gray on there. Now watch me. Everybody pause and look up. Isaiah, I'm going to smash. And then smash again. Look at it turn baby gray. And then stop. Smash it into the white paint. Change its color. Smash it into the white. And it will be baby, baby gray. Smash. It's just a half a rainbow. Isabella, you keep putting more on there. Please don't put any more. It's just a teensy bit of gray. Isabella, put white on that and tell it to turn baby gray. Okay, now what color do I have in my paintbrush? Baby gray, because I just smashed it in. Now we're going to try to make it disappear. So everybody watch. Everybody pause. Even though you're busy, watch me. Oh, look it, it's like a perfectly straight line. That does not look like a shadow. So I'm not gonna touch the part that's touching the back of his neck. I'm gonna make the front part of this gray disappear. Watch me, everybody stop painting, look up. Excuse me, Dallas, I see you using water. Please go put that water in the kitchen. You cannot use water in this painting. You will ruin your painting. Water is a solvent to acrylic paint and will erase all the paint off your canvas. Okay, so now I'm gonna, there's the back is gray and the front is gray. Let's get rid of the front gray and make it an even softer gray. It, the baby grays in my paintbrush. <gasps> oh, the front, I'd tell it, oh, look at turn baby, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby gray, just the front of it. Cause it's not supposed to look like a flag. I tell it to calm, not the back, I already like it. I just want to tell the front to calm down. There, now she's not so perfect. Calm down front of the gray. The back of the gray is fine. The front of the gray looks a little harsh. Who needs to tell their gray to calm down more? Is yours too dark? Get a poke of white and go uh, calm down front of the gray there. There, now it's happening. Only white can move it down, not water. Water cannot calm down paint. Just a, a more white paint. And then you know what's in my paintbrush right now? The perfect color for her ear. Look at the top of her uh, neck. Can you push this gray up into her ear? Oh, 
Weep, 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 weep. I just made her ear grief. I didn't get more. Where is the gray that I'm playing with? I just touched the back of her neck and pushed it up into her ear. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Nice. I don't have to add more. That'll be dark, dark gray. I like this baby gray that's in my paintbrush. Now, how about how about the front, uh, the um, the the muscle in her neck? So I'm gonna get my finger, and I'm just gonna get a little poke of gray, and I'm just gonna. It's just in the middle of her neck. It's below her jaw because this is where your neck starts below your jaw. That curvy part is her jaw, right? So I just go, I don't know, right in the middle of her neck, right? And I just go, um, let me do it flat so you can see, uh, there. <laughs> I'm not going to leave it like that. Let's, it looks like somebody hurt her and she needs a band-aid. So I just go bloop, right down the middle of her neck. Should I leave it like that? No, now I'm going to touch it and try to make misty baby gray out of it. Okay, wee, fluffy, 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 fluffy. And then, oh, I feel like I put too much. Or it's not slippery enough. I could get a poke of white and just go, oh, calm down, gray. There. Because white will tell the gray to calm down. And then, oh, I covered up all my gray. It's gone. Just wait. The white turns clear like Elmer's glue. And then the gray will show back up. But you don't know that. Right? Now we can do, now we can do, um, now we can do her face. So I did the eye and the nose and the mouth with black Sharpie. Because you can't really cover up black Sharpie. But if we get paint on the black Sharpie, we could just wipe off some of it with our finger to make sure it doesn't disappear. But we need to outline her face, right, all perfect with the white paint. And it doesn't matter that we have gray in our paintbrush because we're about to add more gray anyway. So I just stab my white. And, okay, so here's her forehead. And I'm just going to land right in the middle of her forehead. And my paintbrush opens. Boop, and then I let one hair sneak up to the pencil. So I go smash. And now I'm going to sneak up. Up, up, up. Oh, one hair is touching. Now I push my paint. Do I wiggle? Do I scribble? No. I'm just trying to drop off a string of white to touch the pencil from inside. Right? Hey, Gage, turn your painting so it faces you. Yeah, don't worry about me. I don't need to look at it. You turn it so it faces you. That looks uncomfortable. Tur turn it like this, Gage. I don't need to look at it anymore. You need to You need to paint comfy. Yeah. You're trying to paint like I do. I have to paint like this because I'm teaching. <laughs> you don't have to paint all weird like uh, it's because i'm showing you you paint comfy pointing at you it's way better isaiah is you, you have too much gray on yours you can calm it down with white it should be a baby gray and we shouldn't see a line the line disappears and turns to mist okay now oh oh now the face what about her lips so i get more paint uh oh it's scary I'm going to land right near her nose and go, oh, one hair and flip. There's two bumps for lips. Right? Uh-oh, I got it. I'm going to wipe. I got, I, got some, I got the paint on her nose. Let me wipe it off with my finger. There's the, there's the Sharpie. And let me wipe off her mouth. There's her mouth. It comes off. I just want to make sure I don't lose her eye. Her uh, And then I could do her jaw. Did you outline her face? Now we can fill it in. You guys ready? Now I stab my white paint. Uh-oh, what if I cover up the eye? If I cover up the eye with white paint, I just wipe it off so I can see it. So now I just paint in her face. Oh, her cheeks too? Yes, her cheeks. Cheeks. Noses. 
But I just stay inside the line so that I just did a perfect outline. And now I'm just going up, down, up, down, up, down. Cheeks, 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 cheeks. Forehead, forehead. Nose, nose, nose. Uh-oh. I painted over the eye. Let me get it. There. I could wipe off the white with my finger. Oh, there it came. It came back. <laughs> now I can see it. But you have to get the whole face sloppy wet with white right on top of the eye and nose, and then wipe it off with your finger. Isaiah, how's your painting coming? Good job. Paint your face now. The, the unicorn face is white. Good job. Okay, now where's the shadow? So I'm going to get my, uh, it's all soppy wet with white, right? And we don't have to keep decorating it. It's all about the shadow. Now I'm going to get one little poke of gray paint. And where should it go? Let's look. Let's look at the original. Oh, there's a shadow between the eye and the nose. You know what that is? It's this dent right here. I have a dent right there and it makes a shadow between my eye and my nose, this dent. And along my jaw is also darker. See that? So I go, oh, okay, 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 okay. So, between, wrong painting. Between her eye and her nose, I touch her eye and point towards her nose. La, 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 la. Oh, that looks terrible. I can't leave it like that. But I just did one little finger, a finger poke of gray. Because I'm going to make a shadow. And do I leave it like that? Because that looks bad. Now I get big fluffy paintbrush and go, calm down, gray. Oh, it turns baby gray. Soft and fluffy. Soft and fluffy. <gasps> Done. I turned her into mist. The white paint ate it all up. Ate it all up. It turned light and fluffy. I just went, touchy, touchy, fluffy, fluffy. Pick it up and drop it off and pick it up. You can go higher of it, lower than it, right? Fluffy, fluff. Yes, you can blend with your finger like that. That works too. It's fun. And then where does the other shadow go? Blend that in, Isabella. Smoosh it in with your big, big paintbrush with white on it and tell it to disappear, turn to fuzz. It will turn to mist. And then right along the jaw, see my shadow? Okay, so then I get a poke of the gray and I'm going to put it along her, her chin. Whoop. Look, that's a bad. I put it on all rough. It's supposed to be round like the bottom of the letter B. I need to fix that. So I'm going to go smile, 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 I turned it. Who ate that? Who made it disappear? Wet white paint just ate up all my gray. And then I could do along her mouth. Ooh, dirty little mouth. Dirty, filthy little mouth. I don't care. She plays outside. She's a little bit dirty. But I never let the gray sit there by herself. And then what if it's turning too dark of gray? Who can lighten her up for you? A little bit of white paint. A little bit of white paint. Calm down, gray. Because you think you disappear it with the white. But when the white dries, she dries clear like Elmer's glue and will leave the gray behind. You're just telling the, the gray to calm down a little bit. Calm down. Good job. I still don't like mine. It's still too uh, in the, in the uh, Zoom picture. It looks too light. I don't know. <laughs> But when it dries, it'll get a lot darker. I like seeing your guys's. Your guys's is coming better. So who likes the moment that the paint disappears and becomes mist? So how many color values do you need for 3D, even for a shadow? Three, dark, medium, light. Oh, let me show you her neck muscle. Everybody pause. Her neck muscle is a half a rainbow pointing toward her face, right? I'm not straight up and down. Woo, 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 right. 
but I need a dark area, a medium area, and I disappeared. So watch me. Look at this. Look at this jaw. <gasps> it's so dark. But then what's above that? Medium, because white started to eat it. What's above that? Lighter is turning into mist. What's above that? Nothing. Dark, medium, light. 3D. Who feels you have a, a one area turned out too dark and you're like, this is too dark. Uh, so I can just get a little poke of white and go, look at the, look, that's, look at how dark that is. I'm just going to gently put some white on it until to calm down. You calm down. <gasps> she got calmer. Boom. Just like that. Good job. Now we just did a, can we still see the pencil on our horse? Right? And then, oh, and let me show you. The, uh, these little wigglies are not real for her hair. It's just trying to show you which direction the lines go. We're going to, and so your paint actually goes on top of the turquoise, right? And then they become strings. So we're going to paint around these, but don't do it all perfect, right? Because the hair goes on top of the turquoise, okay? So you'll be like, oh no, I ruined it. It's fine, okay? We're just going to kind of go fake, fake scribblies and fit over that. But we're going to outline our whole um, um, unicorn with our turquoise. Can you find turquoise paint? Where's my turquoise? Oh, love color. Love, 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 love. And I think I gave you enough, like lots of it. So later you can go find some rocks in the garden and wash them and paint them and write cute things on them and then hide them in the garden or along your sidewalk and then people walking their dog will find them. It's so fun. Okay, so open your turquoise. Now, we outlined our, our horse from the inside of her face going out, but now we have to touch the front of her face. But it's the same thing. I keep my paintbrush in the background, and my paintbrush touches the, the, the canvas, and it goes boop. And then once it opens, I stare at one hair, or maybe that hair, that touches the line. Do I scribble like this? No. I just push my paint. I'm trying to make a smooth line with the edge of the paintbrush. And as soon as I run out of paint, I don't scribble. I just get another poke of paint. So I'm going to poke. Oh, and this turquoise paint is very drippy. So I like to hold it really close to my painting because it falls off my paintbrush and makes me mad. So I'm going to get my turquoise poke. Oh, see? Look how drippy that is, rude. Okay, now I'm going to go, and I'm going to go above her forehead, but I'm far away from her forehead. Let me go closer. I want to pause. Pull it closer. Watch. Watch. Here's her face. Everybody pause and look up. But I go, smash. I'm not near her face yet. But now I'm gonna, now that one hair is near her face, and I sneak up, sneak up. Oh, there it is. Now I can push. Put, push. Oh, and then it got dry. Should I start scribbling? No, I get one more poke of turquoise, just a little, and then I land on the background smash, and then push, and I'm trying to get in one smooth hair to do the, oh, to do the outline. One hair, whoop, and then, oh, it ran out of paint. Can you do that? So we keep our paintbrush in the background, and then smash, and then sneak up, sneak up, sneak up to touch the pencil and then push. No wiggly squigglies because you'll make a furry front of her face. What? It's smooth. Okay, now I got one, another little poke. I don't get thick pokes because it drips everywhere. So I'm gonna go uh, uh, under her lip. This is where I am. You go wherever you're at. But now I'm under her lip. Oh. Oh, along her jaw and under her jaw. Oh, it got dry. Man, that paint doesn't last very long. So another little poke. 
needs to be nice and thick in one swipe. And then one smooth swipe. There. See how one hair does all the work? You think, oh, I have to outline using the whole paintbrush. You're not using the whole paintbrush. The whole paintbrush is making a line, but we don't care. We're only staring at one hair that touches the horse. Did you see how we painted over her bangs? The pencil for the bangs? Because we're going to add those. Look, look, we add fluff bangs. Those were just there so you could see the direction the bangs fall forward, right? Remember, no scribbly scribbly. It's very hard to control where your paintbrush lands. So we land and push our paint. And that's all. Do not pick up your paintbrush and go dash, dash, dash. You will get paint in her face. This is a trick I learned. I know these things, right? Okay, now I'm gonna do her horn. What? I'm so scared. I'm gonna ruin it. I just got one poke of paint. Okay, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try really hard not to touch my horn. So I go in the background, I go boop, right? One hair is gonna touch it. So I lay I'm in the background, smash. Oh one hair. Oh, not close enough. One hair, push, push, no picky uppy paintbrush. That's very tricky. I get nervous because I don't want to wiggle. I just push. And then what about the other side? What do you think? I don't think I have enough paint to make a smooth line. So I need another poke for the other side. But I don't need very much. I just touch my paint. Otherwise it starts dripping off. Ugh. Right? Now I'm going to go above now I'm above my horn in the background. Smash. Okay, now I'm going to sneak down. Sneak, sneak. Oh, there. I touch the pencil. Then push and bump into her forehead. Ooh. There. Okay. I can see it. Now it makes sense. Ooh, look, it's dripping. Calm down, paint. Smash down a drip. Calm down, drip. What the heck? And we try not to pick up our paintbrush. This dash, dash, dash you want to do, that comes from crayons and colored pencils and markers because the color comes out one tiny little line at a time. Well, paint goes on thick, so you don't have to go dash, dash, dash. Unless you're trying to make texture. So who's ready to do hair? Okay, so the hair is fake, right? We do not have to outline all these ziggly lazaglies. It's just trying to tell you that the hair goes, no, this way. Woo, right? So I go, okay, so I get the turquoise poke and I just go, just be fake about it, like ish. And you just kind of go around and around. I'm not, re I don't really care. It's ish. Right? I don't, I'm painting the hair on top of the turquoise. Look, let me show you again. Almost none of the turquoise lives. The hair goes on top, right? She's like, oh, I'm going to outline mine so perfect. Uh, no, because the, we end up putting all this pretty hair on top, so. Pook. Now I just go, oh, round and around and around and, and ish, ish, ish. Okay. Here, 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 here. I don't want to touch my horse because I'm saving room for hair, right? But I, I'm definitely not trying to be all perfect about it because I'm going to, it's just, we're going to put the hair on top of all this. It's the funnest part. You know why this is the hair is the funnest part? Because we get to make new colors. And now we have to paint the whole background. So if it's not horse related, I'm sorry, unicorn related, the rest is sky. 
And because we outlined it, our unicorn, we are less likely. We have a whole two inches before we could hurt our, our unicorn. We're so lucky. So now we just get a stab of paint and push it around. And I actually use the side of my paintbrush to push around the paint. The tip of the paintbrush seems to scratch it off. So I kind of peanut butter it on, right? The flat side of this smooth paintbrush. So I just go, stab! What? That is so much paint. I'm going to drip. But I just go, now how easy is it? Oh, because... I just go slow and I get near a line and I'm going to make the whole sky. And does it matter how you do it? No. And this paint, turquoise paint, is see-through. So you can already see. It, it has white shows through. So annoying. So we're going to paint it twice. So we paint it by white. I don't want to look at you anymore. I just keep getting more toys and shovey, shovey, pushy, pushy. Maybe the second coat, we go back and do it smooth and nice. This coat, we're just trying to go by white. I don't know if you've ever tried to paint a room or a wall, and then you, you paint it all good, and then you come back after it's dry, and you're like, what? I can see through it. Well, that's just where it was thinner and there's no way for your brain to keep track of where you put it thick and where you put it thin so just go two coats two coats is fine it's more work but it comes out prettier the deeper more perfect color oh a hair came off my my paintbrush oh does it happen to anyone? This is how you get it out. You sneak up uh, and use the bristles from your paintbrush and go flick. And it attaches itself to your bri your bristles and then you can pull it out. Your fingers can't do it. There. Oh my gosh, look how see-through it is. <gasps> that is so annoying. That's okay, I'm going to do two coats. I don't care. And down the back. Totally weird that I could see through it, but whatever. And do you have, once you have your, your uh, unicorn all outlined, isn't it easier to paint in the background? Because she's protected by that outline. She's safe. And then down, it goes, right? Now I just get paint and shove, 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 shove. Swishy, swishy. And don't be afraid to go right up to the edges, edges, like it's falling off the page right there and falling off the, because sometimes my, oh, another hair. Let me get it. Thick. It's because your paint brushes are new. These hairs come out. I got it though. Okay. <laughs> but I don't mind hairs drying inside my paint paintings because I know that it was handmade. You would never find a hair in a painting, in a picture made by a machine. You know that a human was here. You know when they use the printer? It's boring. Who wants to paint their sides? The sides, you know? Cause they're because they might show just get a little bit of paint a little tiny poke and give it a little scribble fasty fast because we just just so they buy buy a white boring 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 white but this is also once you paint the sides you're gonna get paint on your hands I don't know it's just how it is all right once you paint the sides you're gonna get turquoise on your hands and then the top this is how I do the top everybody pause and look I'm going to pull it forward towards myself, but keeping it on the easel and then do it. Don't try to get taller and look on top. Pull it. Use one hand to pull it close, pull it down, and then you can do it easy schmeasy. Scribbly, scribbly, scribbly. Bye, white. You're boring. Ooh, I'm mean. I was mean to the white paint, to the white background. Should I get suspended? For being mean. Maybe I should just get a talking to. Stop being mean to the white. 
Now I get, no, oh, now I have, I got to move. I can't see my way on this side. I have to come over here and see it from over here. Okay, they're good. Oh, see, and then I touched, touch paint in the sides. Makes you dirty. I have to fix it. Oh! It comes off with water later. I'm not scared. It looks cute now, right? But who can see through your uh, sky and see the white scribbles? Who hates that? Me, raise your hand. Okay, can we go back and just put another layer of turquoise? Go hunting for all the see-through places. Just real quick, not too much delicate. I just get the turquoise, another poke of turquoise, and just go hunting. There, yes. And maybe now I could be softer, smoother about it instead of so scribbly. Now, now just ha I'll add more side to side smooth texture, you know? Now I can go, okay, let me smooth, let me just put one more layer on. <gasps> Look at what a deeper, better color that is. It really, that, that's way better. I was not enjoying all those scratchy, Oh, oh, I almost got close to my, 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 I have to slow down when I get near my unicorn. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Second coat. Where else? Oh, yep. Around her horn is definitely see-through. I'm just putting a second layer. Smoothie, smoothie. Oh, it goes on so much smoother, the second coat. That's how paint's supposed to look. One, smooth, one solid color. It's nicer. It's nicer. Look at us. We're making it smooth and prettier. First coat was kind of scribble, scribble to get rid of the white. Second coat for smoothness. Any weird see-through white stuff. Bye. You know what it is? It was just a little thin right there. That's why the white was shining through. But there's no way to be able to tell while it's shiny and wet where those spots are. Okay, who wants to make clouds? Everybody push pause. Watch this. What do I have that you don't have? Clouds. clouds. But are my clouds up and down or side to side? They're wispy clouds, right? So I'm going to use my finger because it works good for getting paint. And I just get some white paint. And I'm just going to add a few clouds like dash, 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 dash. Do I want this these dashes to live? No, but I want the white to live. So while my, soft. Because how easy is this just going to turn into light turquoise? So everybody pause. I know you're busy. Watch me. Push pause. Watch. I want to see your eyes. Look. Okay, I put my and soft because I could ruin these. I just go flick, 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 flick. Oh. You, you video. Say it again. I can't start his video. I'll try. I'll try to do something real quick. So I'm touching them and turning them into side to side, not up and down. That's grass. Wind is side to side, so I go and touch them side to side, side to side, side to side, and I want the white to live. I do not scribble them into baby turquoise. I just go side to side, side to side, and I give them permission to be little white flat clouds. Oh, so much prettier! But you have to do it while the turquoise is wet, right? Otherwise, you'll end up with just the... Oh, this one's tilted. It's supposed to be straight, straight, straight. Because clouds are straight. Why are clouds straight and flat? Because they're being pulled by the wind that's straight. So now fluff them. Go like this. Dash, dash, dash. Soft, soft, soft. Soft, soft, soft. So turn them into soft fluff. And just, oh, sometimes it turns into turquoise. Sometimes it stays white. But, oh, wait, look, 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 look. Everybody watch. Everybody pause. So watch me one more time. Everybody push pause. Look at me. Okay, let me try again. Watch. I walk away from it. 
so, like on their little steps. So it's very white. Then the one above that will be less white. The one above that will disappear. I just, I am not, I'm trying to make fuzzy edges. So I just go, la la la, la, they're done. Right? But if I just go like this, watch, this is a mistake. Everybody pause, Julia, watch. Dash, dash. All I did was make a bigger dash. I'm trying to scribble them fu, 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 fu. long, fluffy strokes. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Like that, okay? Because they don't, they don't stay like this. They're supposed to turn into mist and disappear. So you just keep, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm, oh, ruin them all. Ruin them all. Yes. Just touch at the whole sky and watch whatever's left on your paintbrush. Make another cloud. Nice. Pick it up and drop it off somewhere else. And pick it up and drop it off somewhere else. Fluff, 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 fluff. And they, some of them are misty and some of them are white. Mm, nice. Okay, now we have to clean our paintbrush so we have to lick it off. No. Crazy. Crazy babies. Okay, I'm going to get my paper towel. I just want to get some of it out. Squeeze. I just pinch. I don't need water. I would just like the extra paint to come out. Hello. And then where's the extra paint? Boop. Who wants to make ice and stuff? Right? So can, do you have your itty bitty teeny tiny just born paintbrush? Hello. She's a good she's a good paintbrush. So if you want to keep this nice and pointy and use it for other projects, you have to wash it like this. Rinse it, wash it, point keep it pointy. You can't rub it like that on something. All her bristles will stick out and she'll never go smooth again. So you rinse make her pointy, rinse, make her pointy, okay? So we have to do her ear, okay? So find Blick. And I just go poke in the black. She's a little paintbrush, so even if I stab the black really hard, she can only pick up that much paint, right? No, ma no matter how hard you stab, she can, she's a baby paintbrush and she can only hold that much paint. So now her ear is a weird triangle. So how do you outline with paint? Didn't we do it a couple times already? Right? But now it's a tiny paintbrush. So I land inside her ear, smash, oh, her paintbrush opened. And now I sneak up from inside the ear and push and let one hair touch the Sharpie from the inside of her ear. And once I have a good outline, then I could scribbly, scribbly fill it in. It looks a little black. I think we need to add some gray to tell her to calm down. So how did I outline? You can't just painty, painty. You have to do a perfectly smooth push, push, push outline. Then fill it in with the scribbles. Without a good outline, it never comes out good. Good outline first. Then fill it in. Let's get gray. Just get a poke of gray. I see you using blue. Please stop using blue. We are using black for the ear right now. So now I'm going to get gray. I would just like to tell my black to calm down. So everybody pause and look up, even if you're busy. I got gray, and I'm going to wipe it off like a booger inside her ear. What am I going to do with that? Just push it around. Just sneak it around. Oh, push, push, push. I never get close to the edges. And done. I just would like my gray to be a little calmer. I just like my black to be calmer. There. And if the tip of your paintbrush seems a little sharp, like she keeps scratching the paint off, use the side of your paintbrush. Now how about her eye? So the eye is flat on the top with a smile hanging out the bottom. 
But where do I outline it from? I land in the middle of her eye, so the paintbrush will go and then I can stare at one hair that will do the outlining. So I stab the black and watch me, watch me do it. So I go, oh, okay, so I land in her eye. Now I sneak up to the Sharpie, make a straight line, and then down and make a smile. That's an eye. Straight top, smile bottom. But where do I land? In her eye, and then open up. And then don't get more paint. Watch this. Do you know what you have in your paintbrush right now? The perfect amount of black paint to make the nose. Watch this. It's like a little uh, comma. No, a dash. Can you see yours? Whoop, there. Whatever's in your paintbrush is the right amount of paint. It's just a teensy tiny a little bit of black. So I just went and it's right there. I can see it, Dash. And then how about the mouth? You guys ready for the mouth? So watch me. Everybody watch. Can I scribble the mouth? No. So everybody pause and look up. Even if you're busy, I'm going to touch the front of her mouth and go up. Right on my lips. Oops. And then I go, push, done. I didn't get more paint. It's just what's left on my paintbrush. So it's just a little bit of paint. Now she's happy. Did I scribble? No, I was very gentle. I just went, I touched her lips and went, mm, done. And then... All animals in this in this planet have wet round eyes. So if your if your wet wet round eye should have a little see that little white dot in my eye, it's from the reflection. But it is the reflection in the middle of my eye. No, it's on the top corner of my eye. It's just how round things are. Like if you look at a a, a, a Christmas globe and the lights are around it, where are they lighted up? Always on the little edges, right? The lights are never in the middle, right? So we're going to use our stick, not the paintbrush, it's filthy. So we can use the stick. And we'll put a little speck of white right in the top corner of her black eye. What? How much paint is that? Maybe I'll even use my lid. Where's my white paint on my lid? I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Because you know what? I just need a tiny bit. And I know my lid has a, And I just go and speck <laughs> using my lid. and I, and Because it's less paint in there. And then a speck. speck. Okay. And then where does it go? On the black, but in the top corner. Oh, she sparkles now. Just in anime. Anime has that too, right? You have to put the little white dots. But my paintbrush would have went like this. <laughs> so I used a stick that's like a miniature fingerprint. Good job. Okay, now we have to clean our paintbrush. Ew, ew. I need a paper towel and I need, there's black in my paintbrush. You need to calm down, paintbrush. So I just go pinch. And then I, I, it's still black in there, but a lot less. And it makes it nice and pointy. And remember, I'm using, I'm not using, wait, 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 gauge, gauge. You do not use your paintbrush. Use your stick. The stick will make a tiny speck. Don't use your paintbrush. She'll go bleh. So use the stick and go with the stick and make the dot okay he's gonna do it whatever okay so now I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, do the horn and I'm gonna what so the horn is painted white and then it has gray letter C's and the C's just keep getting smaller and smaller and what do the C's represent the spiral it's the little shadow of the spiral spinning horn Right? So we have to get, just like when we painted her face, 
we have to get the horn wet with white. So when we put the gray on there, it makes a softer gray. So I'm gonna stab, stab my white. And I need to outline my horn. How do I do that? Oh yeah, I land inside the horn, smash, and let one hair touch the turquoise and push my paint. I don't lift my, don't, I don't lift up my paintbrush because I want a smooth edge. If I wiggle, I get a furry horn. So I go stab my white paint and do the other side. Smash, pull, straight. And I had gotten turquoise on my horn, so I just fixed it. So there. And then once you have a good outline, what do you do? Painty, 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 painty. Up and down, get it wet with white. So I just dab my white. <laughs> la, 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 la. Mine had, I have a little black in my paintbrush, so it's made baby gray. And you're jealous, because I don't know if yours did that. But I had to get it all smooth and slippery with the with the paint, right? Mm-hmm. Oops, I got it in her forehead a little. Let me blend it there. And then now I need gray. So how much gray paint do you think these little letter C's will be? A lot or a little? Just a, 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 little, a, little, a little bit? So I'm going to sneak up and just get a tiny, 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 tiny little speck. <gasps> one tiny speck and then how far apart are my are they don't touch right they're like a finger space apart and it just goes big c because it's bigger right here big c like capital c and then they get smaller and smaller and they don't touch they're not friends right so i go okay let me try so no it's not a letter c it is like the bump of a b the other way right so they're actually like a parentheses or the bump of a B, right? So I go, okay. But, oh, yeah. Hey, that only lasted one. I ha the second one did nothing. Er, more gray. Boop. So letter B, letter B. Oops, more paint. Letter B. Letter B. And then I like that it makes that cool stripe of gray and white stripey thing. That is wicked cool. Letter B. Letter B. Oh, no. Need more paint. Poke. Letter B. Oh, my B's are getting smaller. Lowercase B, lowercase B, lowercase B. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. Came out good. Who needs to fixy fixy? Uh, you went outside the the um the edges of your horn and you need to fix it. Anyone? Cause you would clean your paintbrush perfect. Get a poke of turquoise and go stay in the sky and touch the sky and then sneak up and just get a little swipe, like any oops you did. Only for oopses. If you went, if you made your letter B and it went, whoa, and just stuck out the horn, you could go a little touch, touch. If yours did not do that, then you do not have to touch anything up. I kind of ruined a cloud by doing that, but whatever. Good job. Who's ready to make our, um, our, our main? So fun. So fun. Okay, this is fun because, okay, let me, and we get to make new colors, right? So the colors are magenta, purple, and blue, and white, right? Because the white makes baby blue, baby magenta, baby purple. But what happens if I take those colors and go, hmm, all day, what, I'm just going to make some kind of, like, a smoothie, right? At one color. What looks awesome is to give them permission to have all the colors in one swipe and not touch it twice. Like, whoosh, done. Ooh, swoosh, done. Right? So here's the trick. I'm gonna show you another, I'll use the other side of the paper plate. So 
watch. Okay, so we're gonna switch to this square paintbrush. And now, oh, let me put the lids on turquoise. Bye, turquoise. I just wanna clean up my area. So I close up my turquoise. I close up my black and my gray, but I can, I'm can. i gonna use white. So those can go, bye. And I stack them up and get them out of my way because I have blue, purple, magenta, and white for my mane, right? So I'm gonna open all those. I open, let me put this down. I open my magenta. Magenta means pinky purple, right? She's right between where pink lives and where purple lives. She's right in the middle. And then I open purple. And purple usually always needs a little bit of white because she'll dry black really dark without a little of another color. And then dark blue. <laughs> Fabulous. But look, I do have pieces of dark blue that lived. Just a few of them, right? Just some, some, not a lot. But I have the magenta and purple and white. Okay, so let me show you. Oh, and this is what a lot of paint looks like. And this is with not using enough paint. Which one's prettier? Using a lot of paint. This one is all dry and scratchy. I'm like, like, ugh, I don't know. I don't love it. I do not love that. But this one, where I went, lots of paint, swoosh. And I push the paint, right? So I'll show you. I'm going to get this paintbrush. Okay, this is a demonstration like when I did the gray, right? So everybody watch. So I'm going to get a glob of white. And I'm going to put a glob of white. Boring. You can't even see this. And then I'm going to get some turquoise or some magenta, dirty paintbrush and all. And I, and I touch the top of that. What? And then I get some purple and I put it above that. And then I get some blue and put it above that. Does that look like hair? No, it looks like a dumb mess. Well, here I'm going to make hair. So I'm gonna hold my paintbrush like a knife, right? So I'm going to cut the paint. Not this, I'm not making squares. Look at how it comes to a stop in a box. That's bad. So instead I hold it the skinny way and I go flick the skinny way. Does that make sense? I'm holding it like a, like a knife, like a laser. So I just go, you know, flick. If I hold it the big way, it will make a big square, but it will come to a stop in a box. So watch me, I'm gonna make hair. Everybody pause and look up. You ready? Watch this. I'm gonna touch the white and put drag through the colors. Then, then, should I touch them twice? No, I love the colors it made. So how many different versions of color did I get? You know who didn't make it very good? Uh, magenta, magenta. Who's more powerful, purple, blue, or magenta? Purple and blue are dark. I think I need to put way less blue. Because <gasps> it's so aggressive. It erased my other colors. So we'll put lots of white, lots of magenta, and purple, but a tiny bit of blue, because look at what it did. Okay, but I just pull on all four of those colors. It makes that really cool piece of hair with stripes in it. What? Look at that one. I love it. And then, did I scribble it like this? What does that make? Lavender. That is the most boring thing I ever saw. What I like is just going swish, swish. And why are they all going that way? Because her hair goes that way, whoosh, because of the wind, right? Okay, let's try it. We'll just do, let's just do between her ear and her um, horn, right? So paintbrush. And we're just, what, remember on the plate, I just dropped off some color and then played with it? Remember? So I'm gonna get a scoop of white. What? You copy me, you do it too. 
a scoop of white. What, crazy lady? Uh-huh. And where I'm going to put it, right, not on her ear, not on the black part of her ear, just on her forehead from the ear to the horn. Oh, my God. Look how much paint that is. That's going to drip, and I don't even care. Huh? That is a lot of paint. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not even going to fix it. I don't care. And then magenta. Magenta. A scoop of it. Oh! <gasps> Because we play with it after we put the colors. Okay. on And I'm just, I'm not going to put it uh, on, on top of all the white. Just like, so they're touching. Like, you know, when you vacuum or sweep, they touch. Oh! So the, my magenta, my white. Oh, look at, the magenta has stripes of white in it. I even love that. Coolio. I didn't quite touch my ear. There. Oh, then purple. Maybe just a the tiny poke, just a poke of purple. Remember how dark purple was? So we just make an adjustment. So I go purple, poke. Okay. And just go and purple. Oh, my purple had magenta in it. Look what it did. I'm going to go all the way up to my horn. Look at, I already love it, but that's the wrong texture. Which way is the hair supposed to be going? Back, back. Now I'm going to get some blue. How much blue? A speck. Just because remember black, the blue was just a little dark. So I'm just going to sneak up on my blue. Let me tell you. I'm just going to go like this and go just a, just a speck on the end. It's all you get. Sorry, blue. You're just too dark. And then I put it. Oh, what? A, oh, the nice. Okay. Who's ready to make hair? So we hold our paintbrush like a knife, not like a square. As soon as you make a square, you'll realize what you did. Because this is earth and you kind of have to mess up to learn stuff. I don't know. It's a setup here. So I'm going to go along. I'm going to go like, um, like a half a rainbow. And then I just let go when I'm sticking straight up into the sky. But I'm going to go. I'm going to touch the white. I need that white's help. To make the streaks right so I'm gonna touch the white with my dirty little paintbrush and I touch the white and I'm using the I'm like a knife and I just go straight up woo, and flip backwards Whoosh. oh should I touch it again no I already love it wait I'm gonna get closer to my horn Whoosh. I did another one and then I'm gonna go next to that one all right, and I, I, I'm stacking them up like little pieces of, I'm cutting. So I touch the white, and I'm going to push the white through the colors. Push, flick. Push, flick. Push, flick. Push, 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 push. They turn into stripey pieces. Should I go back and touch them more? No. They will just turn blue. Push, push. Who feels they got all the colors they wished? I feel like, look at mine. Mine turned baby. Could I put some more color on that? I'm going to get some purple and put some purple pokes on it. And look at me. Everybody watch. What am I doing? Everybody stop painting. I would like those stripes. I'm going to put some purple dots and some magenta dots. And some white dots. Why? Because I now I'm gonna try it again. Don't don't look away. Everybody watch. I just ruined it. But watch. Now I'm I'm okay. Now I'm gonna clean my paintbrush because I feel like I have a lot of paint on there. Okay. Now I'm gonna try to streak it again. Whoosh, whoosh. Let's see if I get more colors to live. Whoosh. I put I turned my dots into stripes. Way better. I got more color. And then is white a color I want to keep? Yes. Neat. Wait, can they bend over the top of her ear? Oh, I pushed it over her ear. Oh, is that okay? 
So what we're, what are we trying to do? We're trying to make stripes of colors, but what happens if we keep touching them? They just become one color and it's not any fun. Okay, should we do it again? Oh, and you're holding it like a knife. Look, everybody pause, pause, stop, stop, Julia. You can't hold it like a square and push. You have to hold it like a skinny knife so it goes up and when you let go, it comes to a skinny little point. If you hold it like a square, it will push a lot of paint, but you'll end in a box. Does that make sense? So you have to turn turn it skinny and keep it skinny. Meow. Meow. Keep it keep it on the skinny side. We're like a knife. A knife. Not like a square. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Too big. Who wants to make more? Me, 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 me. Okay. I'm gonna clean my paintbrush. I just get a paper towel because um there's filth in my paintbrush. Pinch! There. So I want to start with white again. Now what about her bangs? How about we put white right here where her um horn is and all of these curve down towards her towards her nose, right? So I'm just gonna put a a glob of white right there in the L. Put And all these are going to what? Jump down. Whoosh, whoosh, right? And then some magenta. Boom. Woo. Okay. Okay. But there's still a lot of magenta in my paintbrush. I think I need to wipe it off. <laughs> okay. Calm down with the magenta. That was a lot. And then some purple poke. Above that. Whoosh, and maybe some baby blue. I mean some blue. Whoosh. Okay. Now clean my paintbrush. So I don't add anything else and it's nice and clean. Now what I'm gonna do, everybody pause and look up. I just want you to watch me do it. Here's my knife. Now touch the white, touch the white and go, woo, point at the ground. Woo, point at the ground. Woo, 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 woo. And I just try to, I keep touching the same spot twice. I'm trying to get in between there, there. And I hang down. Oh. Can some of them go in front of her? Hey, yeah, they can go in front of her horn a little bit. And they, how do they curve out? There, I'm a half a rainbow, a half a rainbow, a half a rainbow. And the less you touch it, the better. One stripe per piece of hair. Stripe, stop. Next stripe above it, stripe, stop. If you touch it more than once, you just go mix it all together. So one stripe per piece of hair. Okay, how about the back of her mane? Yeah, so I get my white paint and I'm gonna put it behind her ear. Whoosh. I got some on her ear. Is that bad? Horses get their hair in their ear. Right? And then magenta poke. Above that. Whoosh. And then purple. Whoosh. Oh, look. There's white in it from my paintbrush. I don't care. It's all going to get decorated. And then how much blue? Less. Because who's more powerful, blue or uh, blue's right the darkest. So I just get a poke, a ton, ton of poke blue and put it on the back. Okay. And then clean my paintbrush. Get off my paintbrush, blue. There. So now I have a clean paintbrush. Remember I said we were going to put our hair... Our hair goes backwards all over the turquoise, right? And if the wind is blowing it that way, off the page, right? So I touch the ear and go, wee. Okay? So I go, all right, let me try it. 
So I need white's help. So I touch the white and push it through the colors. So I touch the white and go, whee! I'm holding it what? Like a, like a knife? I, I touch it and go, whee! 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 And then should I touch it more? No. At one swipe should be enough to make the stripes. I touch the back of her ear where the white is and go, whee! Whee! Wind! The wind is going that way, that way. And should it be dash, dash, dash? No, one stripe, white, right through the magenta, through the bit and stick out. So don't scrub, scrub. We like the variations of the color. Who wants to do more? It'll make sense. Now I get more white. And go, okay, okay. Now, uh, touching the back of her neck. And we'll just do like four fingers big. So I just put the white and I just go, wee. It's about four fingers. And then what goes above the white? Some magenta. We did this already. What goes above the magenta? The purple. What goes above the purple? A tiny baby bit of of blue because she's so aggressive. Look, I got a pretty rainbow. Am I going to let it sit there and look like that? Nope, it doesn't look like hair. So I clean my paintbrush. See, here's what I do. I'll show you. I don't like all this paint on there, Pinch. Now I can make hair. There's too much blue on there. Okay, which way is the hair is blowing? Off the page. What if the hairs touch each other? So, hair touches each other, right? So now I'm gonna go, okay, I hold it the chiselly way, the knife way, flat, not the square, that comes to a box. So now I go, put, touch the white and push right through the colors, flick, grab the white and flick. I do one at a time and I never go back and touch them twice because I like how they look. Flick, 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 flick. And we don't scrub, scrub. We touch the white and push it through. Who feels you need to add a little bit of white, a little bit of magenta? Remember the a trick I showed you with putting pokes of more color and then striping them? So if it's turning one color, put some pokes of color and push them big, long strings of hair. They're not like this, dash, dash, dash. It's not right. It's whoosh like that okay now now what happens down the side they actually point down they're like she's combing her hair and look at how much blue i have like none the blue is like bleh. mostly it's white magenta and purple and now they're pointing down to the bot to the bottom so i go all right so I get some white scoop and I can do the whole rest of it. Watch this. So underneath whatever I did right along her neck, white. Hey, I ran out. I'm going to need two scoops to get to the bottom. That's not enough white. And get a huge glob of white and go, Whoa. the first color is white. She helps us make stripes. And then what color will go after that? Magenta. Woo! And then what color will go after that? Purple. And, oh, I totally missed. They're not touching. Wee! I guess I'll figure it out when I start making hair. I was doing it too fast like a crazy person. And then how much blue? I don't know. Barely none. That's all you get. That's it, baby. That's it. Blue cares. Now I'm gonna get my paper towel because look how uh, uh, that's a mess. So I just give it a squeeze to make it sharp again, like a knife. But where's the hair going? Off the page or down? Like I'm combing her hair, right? So I touch and I point down to the ground. Whoosh, down to the ground. Whoosh, and each touch is one hair. One hair, 
two hair, three hair, four hair, five hair, six hair, done. Should I touch it more? If I touch it more, it'll just be, it'll just be boring. Who like making the colors the best? Who feels like you could put, add more colors to it? What if I'm like, oh, I don't like this right there. I'm going to get some white dots. And I'm going to get some magenta dots. And some purple dots. And then what? Should I scribble that? No. I'm touching it one time. I touch and push, touch and push. I'm rooting for the stripes. Does that make sense? I'm trying to make stripes of color and then I have to stop. No scrubby scrubby. I just push. So you're like, oh, I have way too much purple on mine. Then you go poke, poke, poke and then streak. And then can I, I look at, I have a piece of white that lived. That's a highlight. I did not go back and touch it twice. I am lucky. I have a piece of highlight. Right? So how many color values do you need for 3D? Three, dark, medium, light. So let's look at our main. Do we have dark areas? Do we have medium areas, medium brightness? Do we have bright areas, little strings of white, 3D? If we scribble them all together and get one color, not 3D. We're rooting for all three versions of, of the colors to be making stripes. So who thinks that came out better than you thought it would? Isn't that fun? Who liked making the colors the best? The best. I don't care what I make, mixing colors and making a new color is the best. Usually I have a, a I make you a cup of green, blue, and white and let you stir it to make turquoise. Wait, are we done? Yes. Do you love yours? How, look at I your. Mine. Look, yes, yeah, show me yours. Look at your gray now that it dried. Doesn't it look like a shadow? So good. Mine looks different from the one you made. They should be a version of mine. They shouldn't be a copy of mine, right? They're all different unicorns. Unicorn friends, right? Oh, I can tell Gage loves blue. He wasn't going to have any of those girl colors in his. I can tell. Michaela and Leela, nice. Maydeen, let me see yours. Madeline, there's, there's a Garcia family. Hold up yours like this so I can see. Everybody hold yours up so <gasps> I can take a picture and do it. I still don't know how to do a screen grab with the Zoom. I don't know. Uh -huh. <gasps> Look at Everybody's is different but unique. Just like your personalities. Okay. Hold them nice. up. I'm trying to take my background off. And, and Michaela loves purple. I can tell. Because hers is purple. All right. Andrea, let me see. Gage, hold up your painting so we can look at it. And we can put it on a screen grab. Madeline, I can't see you. Where'd you go? There's Gage. Put it on the table. Okay, ready? One, two. Madeline, we're going to take a picture. You're missing the picture. Hold up your painting. Hold your picture up, Madeline. I don't think she can hear us. Hold up your picture, Madeline, so we can see. Oh, there you go. Okay, ready? Oh. And smile big. Okay. Show it off. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Ah, hold on. It's a trick. Okay, got it. Oh, yay! Good job, everybody. And when it dries, the colors will dry darker. Remember how we put the gray on and you thought, oh, mine's fine. Look, it's darker, right? Who loves their clouds, right? 
perfection. See? We did a good job. So let's save these paint brushes, okay? Let's wash them good and put all the lids on your paint because you can use these to decorate rocks and stuff, right? So you guys did a really good job.